They just let it drop off. I don't really know what was happening quite there, but they lost a, a few crucial uh, team fights and it just seemed to be going south for them. Uh, we've highlighted the fact that perhaps Cplay has better DM, so that would play into them on a map like Viaduct, which is a very DM-based map. But it also depends on how you play spawns and how smart you play with the uh, with the positioning of your team. So definitely, I would not count Publiclear.se out of this. This is their pick. They must be feeling confident on it, and we will see what they can pull out on Viaduct. They may well Stay be true. running a sniper. Never Hello. mind all that TF2 nonsense. The real people, <laughs> the real reason people are here is for the, the continued raffles. Jill, uh, give us the, the opportunity that you would keep running the raffles straight this uh, Premiership cast after the Archimedes Cup. And he's lived up to his word. You can see that raffle link in Twitch chat by typing exclamation to raffle. Get entering over there on scrap.tf. All you need is a Steam account with which to log in. I want to see what is the current raffle. What can I win right now, Saito? Uh, you can win a description tag, four secret Saxons, a basic sticky bomb launcher kit, basic spicicle kit, specialized ambassador kit, a phlogistinated <laughs> stranger <laughs> fire, goodness me, that's difficult to say, cleanest carbine stranger fire, and four tour of duty tickets. You can't win all of them, it's multiple winners, so you win one of them if you win, uh, but it that means that you have a much higher chance of actually winning something, so... Lots of people entering this raffle, and I do believe they will continue throughout the night. The title of the raffle as well is Who Will Win? So feel free to post a comment in that uh, that scrap.tf thread there, the comment thread of who you think will win the overall fight between Cplay and publiclear.se. I'm going to have to favour Cplay, putting up those big numbers on their heavy classes, Demo Man. And Soldier Doom work. So I'm going to be looking again to uh, Blob and failing to be putting out the damage here, setting up these frags for uh, Profix. He seemed to be doing a great job of finding them. 30 frags plus last map. And this being a, a very strong map for scouts if, if played correctly or if you know if you play smart. Things seem to be a little bit wider as well. I know we were talking briefly in the Archimedes Cup about the changes in... Uh, the version 5 of this map, but it just seems to be a lot more, everything seems to be slightly wider, right? The choke points, slightly more room there around the cliff. Am I imagining that, Saito? Is it some sort of optical illusion? Have I changed my FOV? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, without, uh, without the previous version to compare it to, <laughs> I don't know whether I can really uh, offer an opinion, but I'm sure somebody... In the uh, in the Twitch chat, we'll currently have the thread open and be lecturing us on how wrong we are and how obvious the changes are, etc., etc. So, um, I don't think the teams will have played Viaduct that much, uh, uh, particularly this new version. But I really don't think it'll make any difference whether they played this version or the previous one, seen as the changes are so minor. But They've changed um, uh, the the China, you know, that sniper area. Mm. They made it shorter so that it's got less vision to the. To the uh, non-cliff side, if you will, to the flank side. Um, ah, they have, yeah. They've removed some of the other cover there as well, so they've made it trickier for snipers, but we have gone live here for the second map of the ETFTL Season 20 Premiership Qualifier, cplay.tt, a map up against publicthere.se, and uh, it's all to play for here as we go into the first middle of Viaduct, Pro Viaduct 5, uh, big <laughs> bomb coming in from both of those C-play soldiers, but Dob and Feeling and uh, Blue all getting obliterated, but Denny on the cleanup behind is now coming in to face off against the fully buffed scout. It's Kratos and Cube. He's trying to go for the medic, he gets him! Kratos chokes there, has Denny down to one health. I will eventually get the frag and get the cap, but that late medic death, especially considering they just capped the point, uh, that's going to be a really long spawn, and we're probably going to see an immediate push coming out of uh, public layer here, Saito. Yeah, but we should. Kratos. It's Kratos who's incredibly close and he really wants to get onto Vanilla. Unfortunately, the rest of his team had their eyes on him, but feelings going in as well. Vanilla somehow manages to get out of that mm. with 40 health and just avoids another bombing by Dob as well. Went down to 16 HP, went back for the health kit. Such, so closely avoided there. That was uh, almost disaster, but they did manage to avert the disaster. The emergency situation was uh, was resolved and they have control of the point now they have control of the uber situation 
And uh, with Dr. Q Leon. incredibly weak there, did Dr. Leon go for a spawn camp or something? He was, he was just hiding in the, uh, just in the entrance of the cliff, he was standing around the corner and went and managed to kill Profic, but he did a lot of splash to a lot of players there, and even though you might think it's a bad idea to trade, because you've got that long spawn, he'll be back up by the time they actually push. There's a sniper on the field though, uh, that's Kratos, but he's gone down to a sticky trap from Samira there, and a heavy weapons guy coming out from Saints on Kai and playing that heavy. I saw his soldier and probably a good idea. Oh, the uh, early. Ubers both popped off an earlier Uber there for Vanilla for some reason. They've lost both of their scouts. They do have the heavy to fall back on from on Kaya, as you said, but now they've lost their demo as well, and it's looking like dire situation here for Vanilla and on Kaya. They may have to back off. They're going to be facing the demo man, which is... Oh, and a sniper. The two classes that can put out the most damage onto a heavy at once. On Kaya does fall there, and Vanilla forced to back up. They're running a sniper v sniper. Uh, they were trying to run a double sniper there with uh, Dr. Leon trying to pick up the sniper class as well as Denia, but then realizes and goes back to Soldier. So um, a very kind of different setup from both teams here. Both running a sniper. One team still running that heavy weapons guy. Yeah, and uh, it should be more effective now that they have a sniper as well, because I, th I think just running a heavy without a sniper is pretty foolish, because, you know, you're going to get abused at range without that counter snipe available to you. But Onkai has already gone down on Cliff Kratos, finds that hitch, but gets another onto Smear here. High value targets coming under his crosshairs, and Banny is trying to get out. He's being chased by feeling, though, he's uh, got his needles out trying to survive, but that rocket round the corner will catch him with the splash. And Vanny goes down, so the fact the medic did not survive essentially means that that was a field play. Even if Cube popped off his charge, he's still alive right now. They're still in control of the point, and he's going to be getting that slight advantage. He definitely is. Uh, sniper Heavy still... Oh no, actually, I, I was going to say still on the field, but it's actually C-Play Feeling who's decided to pull out the Heavy Weapons guy this time, and Onkaya going back to Soldier, so... The team in control of the point this time deciding to run the heavy to deny this suicide wave, doing a great job of denying Dr. Leon. He got obliterated in midair and then a midair headshot onto Smear, the demo man who was flying in. Feelings heavy actually dropped there by Hank, but Hank can't quite get onto Cuba and do enough damage there, so Cuba is going to have his Uber up at the same time as Vanilla is. This is going to cure a, uh, an Uber v Uber push, but I feel like possibly admirable. Publica.se could have just gone for a non uber push there rather than a suicide wave. I think that would have been the best option. Yeah, quite likely. They still have plenty of time though. 40 seconds left on the clock. They're going to begin to move forward. But that sniper, they they need to be trying to get behind or put a little spam on him and uh, try and flank around because the setup that C player running is very static. Like the heavy and the sniper are pretty immobile. And they've already lost three players before they'd even popped off their charges and moved forward. Uh, I mean, I don't like their decision straight up to push from the left, like on the blue clear perspective, because they're just going in into the sort of the biggest range of sniper sightlines there. If they push from the right, they force the sniper to go China, and that makes it easier to exploit the flank. But I'm just their decision making is all wrong for me. They're getting themselves onto the point though. There is a fight happening here before we get overly analytical. Uh, but Vanny is isolated from Onkaya here. He's trying to walk forward. He's keeping the point alive, but there's just. And no one alive right now to get on there and make that cap. Dr. Leon's coming from the left, but uh, I mean, I, I felt like Public Clear Saints were really they were in that round, but their decisions in the, in the last 90 seconds were all wrong for me, man. Didn't Just didn't make sense to me, Saito. Yeah, and that's the reason that they managed to lose that. I mean, it was incredibly close. The time are ticking down again, these violets that we've seen today. So close, going down to the wire, but at the end of the day, they're just not able to quite do it. Onkaya takes a big shot there. It was flying into the air. He's so far behind, but as well, Cuba actually getting juggled incredibly high up, and actually Kratos, who was 9 HP in the air, could not survive that. And uh, it's going to be publicly.se who have the heal advantage to be able to take mid, but that's going to cue the aggression out of C-Play. They want to get in, trying to get onto Vanny. Kratos with the flank gets Vanny down to 50 HP. He's going to collect the health kit, but Blub's desperately firing off projectiles towards him. 22 health. Can Blub be taken down before he gets Vanny? Yes, he can. Vanny's going to get up to 85%. Are C-Play still going to come in? They are. They're desperate for this kill on Vanilla here. Man, that was the that was a sticky nerf in effect there. Just I was watching like from the bird's eye perspective, and the 
the distance of that sticky from vanilla, old stickies, he was dead for sure, but he managed to like only take about 40 damage from it and just went and got that kit. But the, the demo man has been nerfed o over the holidays there, and it's only now that we're going to really be seeing serious competition uh, in Europe at least and seeing how effective that, or how much of a nerf it is. And I've seen that at a forum thread on Team Forest TV of uh, Mustard Overlord trying to analyse it. I didn't get a chance to read it, but check that out after the game if you're interested. Right now though, the Uber has just been forked out by a nice suicide wave from cplay.tt there. Uh, and uh, with their medic cube staying safely in spawn, they've got a big advantage. And they're going to bring out... Uh, oh, I thought Kratos was going to stay Sniper, but he's actually gone Scout here. But uh, Sniper wouldn't have been the worst option, considering they have the Uber charge anyway. Dr. Leon is actually hiding on the other side of their spawn. And he's... he's I think the penny's dropped for him here. No one's going to come. So now Dr. Leon will be coming in from behind. Uh, and they'll be unaware of it. Danny is still playing Sniper here four public there but they're mostly backed out they're just gonna let Dr. Leon go in and he does get that force and uh, that worked out pretty well for them they'll have that charge and the superior spawn so this should be a, a, a great opportunity for Shaker to get back in the round yeah yeah with Smear just spawning now it looks like they're gonna have a prime opportunity to push but they may be smacking their heads against a brick wall here as they try and get out the very entrance that is so heavily guarded by both of the soldiers but Oh, having got out, that allowed Smear to get onto Cuba so easily, but he just couldn't take the Uber charge into him. Uh, it just went off him at the uh, at the critical moment there. Oh, huge shot on Dob. The double air shot was that huge play on Kaya destroying Dob with a double air shot. That was brilliant. We'll see that in a frag movie. Whoa! I just think I questioned his uh, ability on the rocket launcher. Uh, well Absolutely played. on Kaya. They're going to be moving forward here though, but the, their medic Vanny did uh, perish in that last fight. Cube sitting here still with that big, big uber charge. And he's playing real defensive, he's up on China there. He's got feeling they're trying to wait for the uh, Saints players to commit. Actually, Cube runs forward here with feeling. They're trying to go for a single uber. Actually, Dobbs coming in as well, but they're really committing. Both soldiers here looking for that medic pick, but Vanny, great read in the situation, manages to back out, so he's going to have an advantage, his teammates will be respawning soon. Hank gonna go down trying to take that fight with the feeling who had control of the high ground and he's gonna lose that one, as you would expect. There's a heavy weapons guy on the field right now though for C play, it's gonna be Kratos switching off from scout to heavy. And they're thinking about going forward for a forward hole, but now they're gonna back off and try and give the heavy the biggest sight lines possible to abuse. But it looks like they wanna play from this right. This is a defensive setup I've never seen before, Saito. Now this is a, a really interesting play from them. We'll see how it works out on Kaya getting in really deep, but Dov actually jumping forwards as well. Kratos tanking a lot of damage. Uh, Dr. Leon actually coming in, trying to get onto Kratos and Cuba. He's not going to be able to do it, and it looks like they're bleeding a few players. Smear does pick up two with his pipes of blood and profix, but um, on the whole, it seems like they managed to hold that fairly well. Here comes the German Uber Cube uh, popping off. For no apparent reason, no real threat there. I just think he was trying to encourage his soldiers to jump forward, maybe his heavy weapons guy to hit that sprint button, but they just couldn't cover the distance and uh, they basically handed Uber advantage back over to Vanilla there. I do see a sniper on the field, it is Hank peeking from cliffside. He took one shot though and thought his position had been compromised and backed off, but now he's trying to look for that low angle. He's creeping around the cliff corner, he's looking for a head. He's not going to find Cube though, because Cube is safely on the red cliff. Bob is absolutely crushing on Kaya there on the flank, and the clock is continuing to tick down. Less than 30 seconds available. The Uber comes in though. From public there, they're already a player down. They have managed to kill off Blob the Demo Man though, and they're trying to commit heavily to this push. They will get Kratos, but they didn't get Cube, and he's got his charge up. And he's got a minute and 15 seconds to play with here for the repush, so this is going to be tricky for public there to deal with, Saicho. Yeah, I'm looking at their forward hold on this right-hand side. They're actually transitioning over to the middle and possibly left. Oh, nice air shot there from Dr. Leon onto Dob. He's finished off by Denia. But the Uber has come in kind of around them. And Onkaya, just because he's so slow on that heavy class, gets absolutely minced by the Uber charge there. Uh, Dr. Leon actually stuck in behind along with Denia. They don't manage to get much done. Oh, no, they did. They got the medic pick. Great play by Dr. Leon. I missed that, actually. And Kratos down to one health. So this may well promote the push back in but with Hank and Vanny getting so destroyed there it's all up to smear can he hit the magic pipes 
he can't. Unfortunately, there it was just crushed as soon as uh, not enough people with vanilla just at the end there. Um, and I imagine that if uh, Onkai had been playing Soldier and Hank had been playing Scout, they would have had yeah. uh, a lot more survivability there. They could have just jumped back from the Uber and then re pushed. But those utility classes, like they were really committed to the positions they played and uh, sort of ineffectual when the sniper just got bullied back. But it was a close round, but it hasn't gone in the favour of public here right now. Dobbs jumping in onto Vanny. No one's looking left. Two rockets. Too easy. And DOB's going to get that pick. Cube survives. And C play just looking really confident here to take the second map and win this best of three in a straight up 2 0 fashion, Saito. Yeah, and I think that's uh, not quite an upset, but it's really unexpected that they've been able to put up such a good showing. Um, publicly, have the. They do have the more experienced people. Oh, actually, Onkai is really deep in before uh, we start doing stuff like that. Oh, Cube are just absolutely slithering oh, out of that. Oh, I have oh. no idea how he managed to get out of it. And then more he escapes Smira as well. Goodness me, they do get the Uber charge out of him eventually, but good God, Cube are just inched, was within millimeters of his life being stolen from beneath his, uh, his team's noses. That was uh, super close, but they did get that pop and that does give them the uh, uber advantage here with those faster spawns, they're already back on the field, ready to push. They know there's a heavy here and they can see the sniper too, so I mean it's pretty easy if they can just walk forward here and get Smyrna into a good position to just keep spamming damage. These players are all so blobbed up, so clumped up, they've actually decided to uber here and uh, I guess fear of the sniper, they're going to lead forward with a lot of uh, heavy classes, but Probably uh, a little too trigger happy with that uber charge. I know I like to drop them, Saito, but he, he could have held there. He could have just taken the point cap for free, but he they didn't push fast. They were sort of they did both. It. They were caught in two mines again. They tried to move forward and get the point, but then ubered later when they'd already gone out of the point. But now here comes the counter uber eventually from C play. They're gonna look at the health just drop it on those public air players. The invulnerability is still lasting here for a few seconds. But Hank is doing his hardest to go in there with four health against two scouts buffed and a medic, but he's not going to be able to make it happen. Vanny survives with a, a little bit of an advantage here. There's still plenty of time left on the clock, but I need to see braver play here from public player. Better decisions in their uber pushes. Absolutely, and they do have a bit of an uber advantage to come in with here. It's 20%, uh, but. To re oh my goodness, Smear gets absolutely demolished in midair. Feeling does go down in return, but uh, I don't think they're going to be able to use this Uber charge effectively. Now they're dropping back. They don't realize that they have this Uber advantage. Onkai are actually going in to try and force Cuba, it seems, and th that's not going to work at all. But now they come forward with the Uber. I think they must have got the call there from Feeling that, uh, sorry, from from Onkaya that, uh, that Cuba didn't have his Uber charge ready, but... They they left that way too late, and now this Uber is an absolute shambles. C play retaining control of the point, or actually getting it back there from a brief stint in publicly.se's hands, but uh, they're getting demolished. The aggression out of oh my <laughs> god, another they're like just getting pinball. out of deathmatch left, right, and center. All of this aggression is just going to waste because C play are dealing with it so easily. Just as soon as they see an aggressive player from publicly. They, they, the Swedish Finnish players can't put out enough damage and the German players are just dispatching them with ease. Yeah, the, the coordination is all wrong there, like the timing, there's, there's too, uh, too many gaps. Obviously, uh, Smear got flanked by Profix there, but the soldiers are like, you know, there's five seconds in between each bomb that's sort of it's making it slightly too easy for C-Play to deal with. But with Kratos down right now, uh, it's public player feel it's time to go. They do have Uber but so does Cube, they're just trying to walk forward here. On Kaya now playing Sniper, is he going to play every class this map? Uh, doesn't hit much, or actually he got Kratos previously, but now the Ubers have been traded on the point here. The clock continues to tick down in C plays favour, only 25 seconds before they will be crowned winners in this third round. But Denny and Hank are putting time on there, they're going to retake control of the timer, and they've managed to create a nice little defence here around their medic Vanny. They've, uh, seen off the threats, they've retaken control of the point and now they just have to do it, hold on to it for another 1 minute and 30 seconds but that's, that's uh, no mean feat, Saito. 
Now that's going to be tough for them. They do. Uh, the Ubers are completely equal. They should be able to hold this. On Kyra actually going really deep in. Does manage to pick off the medic. Great play by him. And now the aggression has to come out. But Kratos running the sniper. Unless he manages to hit lots of shots from a very uh, long distance. He's not going to be as useful as he would be on that scout. It doesn't really make much difference though. As Profix. And uh, oh my oh. goodness. There he goes with the headshot onto Vanny. That's exactly what they needed. And the rest of his team are just picking up these frags. They're just winning a lot of the uh, 2 v2 1v1 situations that they're getting put in and Danny has given them such an advantage. Oh, Danny gets cubed down to 60 despite having uh, those two players in front of him. And <laughs> Danny only in 4 health, but uh, publicly are just throwing players in here. It's, it's looking pretty desperate for them. They've lost control of the point. Only 5 seconds remaining on the clock. There's nobody even close to it right now. I'm not sure if Danny can cover that distance. Definitely not, in fact. And C play will take that map in a straight 3 0, and that means he take the series 2 to 0. And uh, it doesn't mean that Public Clear are out. I think they've, as Sonny Black was telling us earlier, the tournament structure or the playoff qualifier structure changed a little bit. So I don't think it's single elimination, but um, they've definitely put themselves behind in the standings. And it, just to recap, it all changed because apparently. LBC have decided to come back at the 11th hour and play in the Premiership in Season 20 despite saying they weren't going to. Bull had a change of heart. So that mm, changed things up a little bit from what was announced earlier in the day. So much drama, Saito, but let's take a look at the logs. Absolutely. So, um, really interesting that the Frenchies are going to be playing this season. It's a great team and it'll be great to have them in the season. They came third last season um, and... I imagine that they will be in among that top three, possibly top four, if you include Lethal Weapon in there. But I, I actually think that Lethal Weapon will drop off during the season. I think, uh, <laughs> I think really it'll be the Supersexuals or whatever their name is, the Epsilon Ubersexuals merger that happened this season at the top with then uh, Reason BK and LBC really fighting it out for that second place. So it's going to be an incredibly intense season, and hopefully somebody can knock. The, uh, the Super Sexuals roster off that top spot as well. That is what we hope for, a really competitive season, which is looking like it's going to be. Check out these logs again, man. The heavy classes and pro fix. Create Kratos up there as well, actually, but uh, three players above 326 DPM there for C play. Uh, Dub playing that rumor role, obviously a bit more sacrificial there, not uh, keeping up with the rest of his team, but Absolutely dominant by C play. The scoreline says it all in rounds, but even their individual stats are fairly impressive. The scouts doing it a very efficient job. There are lots of frags, lots of assists, minimal deaths, and um, on the mids, two to one as well. But it never seemed to be looking good for public clear. They just didn't seem to have the same sort of plan or coordination or it seemed to be like on Kai was just doing whatever the hell he wanted running heavy randomly sniper soldier uh, he did hit that big double air shot so we can probably forgive him all that but uh, definitely C play looked like the more deserving team yeah absolutely I thought the C play played that much better and uh, they they clearly outclassed them in all of the DM fights I thought it was uh, really a case of whenever there was these small fights that happened between the flank versus flank or combo v combo or anything like that, C play were just definitely coming out on top. I was especially impressed by feeling and dob, um, just this, the ability to jump in and do a lot of damage, even if it's not particularly reflected in the logs, just because of, you know, the, the problems that you have with stats when you play roaming soldier, but, uh, feeling putting out a ton of damage that game and previously. And I think Dob's doing a lot of work for his team as well. And I'm actually impressed with how Kratos is playing on Scout. He normally plays uh, Devilman or occasionally Medic, but he's joined this team on Scout to partner up with Profix, and it looks like they're going to be doing pretty well. The dream is real for Kratos to play Prem finally. I think he's played five Prem playoffs uh, so far over the course of his ETF2L career, and uh, he hasn't quite made it into Prem yet, but believe this is the time. C play for Prem. <laughs> 